What's up guys, Paul here, and today we're going to be looking at cleaning out a really filthy power supply. So if you've been running your PC for a while now, especially if you haven't been using a dust filter, you're probably going to be noticing uh, that you're getting a fair bit of dust build up in there. Um, which does happen over time, and it's the number one thing that a lot of people don't tend to address. I've literally fixed people's computers before by doing nothing more than dusting it. It's amazing how much of an issue dust can cause over time, especially if you're not running with dust filters. Uh, so today we're going to look at cleaning out the power supply, and you're going to need some fairly simple tools to do this. A soft brush, like this paintbrush that I've got here, and a screwdriver. That's about it. And probably up to half an hour of your time. Uh, one warning before we start doing this is if you're not comfortable with taking things apart, maybe get somebody else to do this. Uh, you can remove a fair bit of buildup just using compressed air, but for really caked power supplies like this one, it's not really going to do enough of a job. And there is, as always, when opening up any electrical device like this, a risk of electric shocks. So, danger, danger. so do be very careful. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do, obviously, is actually take it apart. Um, depending on your model of power supply, this will vary as to the process. But essentially, we're going to be looking around the power supply for the screws and removing them and just see if there are any more in the way as we go. Um, one thing you may have on your power supply, as I've got on this one, is a warranty remove, void if removed sticker. Um, chances are that if your power supply has got this cake, you're out of warranty anyway. But check out a later video for a little tip on how to remove these stickers. It doesn't always work if you don't want to void your warranty. I'm not too concerned about this one, so I'm just gonna pierce straight through with the screwdriver. Okay, so once you've got your power supply apart, as we can see in this one, this is really quite horrifically caked in dust. In fact, I probably should have some computer duster available for this one as well. I don't have a spare can on me at the moment. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead with the method, which is very carefully using our paintbrush, just brush the dust out of there. Uh, you might want to wear a dust mask because this can get pretty grim, especially if it's not your PC. One of the reasons dust can cause an issue is because over time it builds up so much that it actually short out in between the uh, positive and negative wires or on the little PCBs here, it can just cause a shortage. Um, it only has to be very slight, just enough to cause a static short for the entire system to neither not power on or for something to actually blow. Which is why dust maintenance is fairly vital with electronic components. Kind of a tip within a tip here, brushes are actually one of the best ways to clean out your fans, once again, especially when they're very caked like this. Okay, so once you've got most of the dust out of there with your brush, um, Next method is, quite simply, to blow the rest of it out of there. Computer duster will probably do a better job, but I'll use my lungs for this one. Ah. Yeah, so this one was pretty disgusting. Um, yeah. 
Okay, so this one was pretty disgusting. Yours may not be that bad if you've been using a dust filter. It almost certainly won't be this bad. But it's still worth doing from time to time to get your power supply uh, nice and clean and make sure that you're not going to have any electrical shortage issues. You can see the difference straight away. There's there's no major dust buildup left in here now. Uh, so we can just pop it back together and put the screws back on. And then probably decontaminate their entire work area because that was disgusting. There we go. Job done. So there you have it. Our power supply is now significantly cleaner. And that took us all of 10 minutes. Uh, obviously, prevention is better than having to do this. So realistically, what you want to do is make sure that you're using dust filters on your case and cleaning out your system regularly. Even with dust filters, you're still going to get some dust build up in there. So make sure to clean out those dust filters and just get rid of any loose dust that you do find inside your case. Probably once every six months to prevent a major build up like this from ever occurring in the first place. Uh, but there we go that's today's uh, quick tip hope you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more coming soon and i'll see you later